crises don't stay within national boundaries. So we need to commit to working across boundaries to address them. As we gather today, I know many of you are concerned about our shared future. COVID-19 has killed over 20 million people in more than 150 countries and territories. Unfortunately, the pandemic also brought consequences well beyond the disease. It wrecked economies uh, with the economic price tag expected to be over 14 trillion by 2024. Combined with the negative effects of climate change and regional conflict, we've doubled the number of people who are suffering from food insecurity. So in spite of these setbacks, I'm still optimistic. I believe we can get back on track uh, to progressing the human condition. And let me explain why that is. If we go back before the pandemic uh, to the decades since the year 2000, we did have amazing achievements. The number of children who die every year was cut in half. Hunger was reduced by a third. And as bad as COVID-19 has been, vaccines were developed at record speed, and that saved over 20 million lives. So these successes were driven by intentional innovation uh, with global partnerships. Partnerships that had as a priority children's health, food security, and uh, the tools uh, for preventing uh, this pandemic and future pandemic. So we've shown that we can improve our world. It takes innovators innovating new solutions, takes advocates and leaders marshalling support, and it takes local heroes who actually do the delivery and, and help those in need. So as we look to our shared future, we need to mount a comprehensive, broad response based on innovation and cooperation. So I'm confident we'll restore the progress we lost, be able to stop the next pandemic before it becomes as much of a tragedy as this one, and create a shared future that enriches everyone.